Welcome to the world of environmental training. The world where we treat concentration very seriously. And we are encouraging you to treat concentration very seriously. And the way we go about dealing with concentration is by presenting dull subjects which focus the mind. One of the reasons for choosing dull, boring subjects is that because in life problems are dull, and those of you wishing to maintain your successes in life, or even gain more successes, or emulate the successful, you need to realize that we succeed by overcoming problems. The ability to concentrate is a great faculty that needs to be developed. The better you can concentrate, the better will you succeed. Now keep in mind that we are not saying that succeeding removes all problems. You will find the great become great because they are prepared to take on problems. But taking on problems and solving problems are two different things. There are the problems which we give ourselves and there are the problems which arrive. The ones we give ourselves may be to our taste, the ones that arrive are not generally to our taste. But there are still problems to be solved. By learning to direct your attention whenever you need to or want to, it gives you greater control. Now remember, the whole idea behind environmental training is developing your ability to concentrate. Without their concentration developed, these games might as well just be gimmicks. And we are not here for gimmicks. Back to the famous front door. You are looking at your front door. You are standing before it. What new theme can you discover about your front door? Well, what colour is your front door? In your mind's eye, stand back and imagine. You are looking at it. In order to know the colour of your front door, you need to know a number of things. Is your front door wooden? Or is your front door glass? If your front door is wooden, is it a natural wood colour? Or has it been painted? Good question. The door you're looking at in your mind's eye, has that been painted? The door you're looking at in your mind's eye, is that the natural wood colour? Even if the door is glass, now, other things come to mind. Is it glass in a wooden frame? Or is it glass in a metal frame? What colour is that frame? The glass, is it see-through glass? Or is it glass which has designs on it? Which makes it difficult for people to see through. The door I mentioned in one session which is made mainly of glass, that is completely see-through. Allows you to see who has arrived on your front door. So, look at your door, and then see what colour. Is it a dark colour? Is it a light colour? Don't wrestle to decide whether it is a dark colour or a light colour. Be bold, be brave. Better to say that it's a dark colour, and then when you come along, you suddenly discover that it's a light colour. Some will say we're encouraging you to guess. No, we're not. We're encouraging you to be bold, make a decision. Decide for yourself that you're going to put down it's a dark colour or a light colour. Oh, on this occasion you may say to yourself you don't know why, but it's better to put down something than nothing. When you've put down something, because we expect you to have written these things down, you may actually go to your front door and compare what you've written. Or you may just wait until you're going through your front door on another occasion. What you find is that after a while of listening to these lessons, 
your interest in doors increases.